Hi everyone, this is a look at the difference between saturated and unsaturated hydrocarbons. This is a second important way we can classify hydrocarbons. Previously we looked at aliphatic and aromatic compounds, chemicals that have a benzene ring or don't. If there is a benzene ring, we classify them as aromatic. If there is not a benzene ring, they are aliphatic. Another really important way we can classify or categorize hydrocarbons is saturated or unsaturated. The distinction is quite straightforward. Saturated compounds have only carbon-to-carbon -carbon single bonds. This means alkanes and cycloalkanes are both examples of saturated compounds. In contrast, unsaturated compounds have a double bond somewhere or a triple bond somewhere. And there's four classes of compounds that fit this. They are alkenes, alkynes, cycloalkenes, and cycloalkynes. Let's take a look at the structures just to see what we're talking about. Here's butane. It's surrounded by hydrogens. It's all single bonds in between all of the carbons. So butane is a saturated hydrocarbon. What is it saturated with? It's saturated with hydrogen. It's completely covered in hydrogens. The most possible bonds it could possibly have are all filled with hydrogens. In contrast, this alkene, but2ene, because it has this double bond, we're going to call it unsaturated. It's almost like there's some empty space right there. It could possibly have more hydrogens, look at the butane, but this one, it's almost like it's missing two hydrogens. Because carbon will only form four bonds, this carbon has its four bonds, one to the left, one going down, and then the double bond, and the same with the adjacent carbon. So we have this sort of like empty space. It's unsaturated because it has this double bond. It's not up to its maximum possible number of hydrogens. This is also the case with an alkyne, but2ine. It's even more unsaturated. There's all of this empty space where the hydrogens are not there, and down here on the bottom as well. Another important thing just to mention is this type of categorization does not apply to hydrocarbon derivatives. This means that things like alcohols, alkyl halides, carboxylic, and and esters, we're not going to be asked to categorize them in this way. It's these six classes of compounds where we have to keep saturated and unsaturated straight. Moving forward, this is going to be an important distinction as we start to talk about chemical reactions in some of the upcoming videos. For now, if we see just single bonds in between the carbons, that means it's saturated. If we see a double or a triple bond somewhere, unsaturated. And I hope that helps.